In this video we're going to go over example 1. Now I need to point out that there are two videos that go over example 1. This one is for those who have a Casio calculator. I have another video for those who have a Sharp calculator. It says the table and scatter plot below represent a sample of 15 people. Each person had their height and arm span measured and recorded. And we can see a record of these in our table here. Question A says, use a calculator to find Pearson's correlation coefficient correct to two decimal places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my Casio calculator. And the very first thing you always do is clear the calculator. And we can see above the number 9, it's got CLR for clear. We're going to go Shift 9. We want to clear everything or all. Number three, and then equals for yes. And we get out of the screen by clicking AC. So we've cleared everything on our calculator and we want to get into statistics mode. So we're going to click our mode button. We can see that stat mode is number two. We want to click on the one that says A plus BX, which is number two. All right, now what you'll notice is we've got two columns, an X column and a Y column. And each of these columns represent each row in our table. So all our heights are going to go in our X column and all our arm spans are going to go in our Y column. Let's do that now. So looking at our heights, we've got 152, 180, 159. 152 and then go equal 180 equals 159 equals I'm going to pause and finish this off all right so I've entered in all the heights into my X column you can see that it says number 15 at my last number and that's because I've got 15 columns here or 15 entries for my height you can also double check that you've done the numbers correctly by pressing the up arrow. So we've got 178, 178, 169, and we can click, keep clicking up just to check that we've entered them correctly. This is what's really good about the Casio calculator. Now we need to enter our arm spans. So we'll go across to our Y values and we're going to enter them in the same way. So we've got 153 as our arms, first arm span equals then 184 equals I'm going to pause and keep going all right I've finished entering in my Y values and you can see I go all the way down to number 15 and what's really useful here is we can check if we've done any of them wrong to give you to give you an example of this if I look at um, let's look at this column here and let's count. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh column. So in my seventh column, I've got the numbers 161 and 159. So we can bring up our calculator, go to where it says number seven on the left, and we've got the two values 161 and 159. So we can see that it matches up. This is why I love the Casio calculator, because you can check it in case you make any mistakes. All right, we're going to look at question A now. It says, use a calculator to find Pearson's correlation coefficient correct to two decimal places. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the screen. I'm going to click AC. And some people feel a little worried about that. They're worried that if they do that, they're going to lose all the data that they've entered. And you're not going to lose it. This is why at the very beginning, I got you to clear the calculator just in case someone had entered data in earlier, which might throw off the results from this. Okay, to get the correlation coefficient, we need to find where it says stat, which is above the number one. So we're going to go shift one, and we're going to do number seven for reg or reg. And then we want the letter or pronumeral R. This is the symbol we use for the correlation coefficient. This is number three and then equals. We can see that our correlation coefficient is 0 0.97 to two decimal places. 
0 0.97. Now, is this a positive or a negative number? You'll notice that there's no negative at the front, which implies that it's a positive number. It's positive 0 0.97 which we can see when we look at the scatter plot because it's going up. Let's look at where this would lie on our number line. Going back here, positive 0 0.97 is very, very close to positive 1. So it's almost perfect, but not quite. We can see that it must be a very strong relationship or a very strong correlation that we have here. So for question B, what is the strength of the relationship? We can say that it's a strong relationship, or to emphasize this, we could say it's a very strong relationship, because it's almost perfect, but not quite. Looking back at our scatter plot, if we were to draw a line of best fit, you'll notice that all the points are very close to the line, and some, in fact, lie on that line. We can see by looking that it's a strong relationship that we have. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one using the Casio calculator. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.